Who is the richest comic book character? Well, let's see. Here we like to delve into comic books and philosophy. So let's start with the two most rich comic book characters that Batman are least most popular. And Iron Man. Batman. I'm going to let my friend uh, Silver Flame from another channel by Silver Flame. Let it take over. So here you go, man. Go. Considering Bruce Wayne's superpowers of eventually being rich enough to afford gadgets and karate training, it makes sense that the Batman would be pretty loaded. Forbes estimated Wayne's net worth at 9.2 billion and lists his company Wayne Enterprises as having an annual revenue of $31.2 billion. So yeah, that seems like a quiet bit of cash. Now let's go over to someone richer than Bruce Marvel's Metal Avenger, Iron Man. Tony Stark has a net worth of at least $12.4 billion. Tony Stark, otherwise known as Iron Man, nearly edged out when the battle of the Billionaire Flip was. Interestingly, while Forbes ranks Stark's wealth ahead of Batman, the publication lists Stark's industry's revenue $23.0 billion as less than that of Wayne Enterprises, talking up the Wayne's engineering philanthropy. Even though Bruce Wayne is a pretty rich car, Tony Stark has created his own technology so many times he outclasses Wayne in many more ways than you see fit. Before we get to the number one richest comic book character, let's go over a few honorable mentions. This one really shouldn't surprise you, considering more than, well, 75% of the world is the ocean. Mark Spector has multiple personality disorder and several other mental illnesses. One of his personalities garnered him quite a bit of a reputation. Stephen Grant is known to be one of the richest comic book characters, considering Moon Knight owns a big technology and most of, well, Egypt's riches. And now, the most rich comic character of all time. Black Panther. With a net worth of $90.7 trillion, T'Challa, the Black Panther, isn't just the richest superhero. He's almost undoubtedly the wealthiest fictional character of all time. How is it even possible for one person to have this much wealth? T'Challa is the king of Wakanda, a fictional African city with nearly all the world's reserves of vibranium. And vibranium, being a super strong metal, Captain America's shield is made out of this, doesn't come cheap. According to the comics, the material costs $10,000 per gram. And Wakanda's vibranium vaults have at least 10,000 tons of the stuff. Do more, number one. A little math of that amount is, well, vibranium would cost more than GDP of the entire world. Unfortunately for T'Challa, a plot by Doctor Doom to steal Wakanda's vibranium forced the king to release a file safe, retaining the stockpile injured and potentially worthless. But on the upside, Black Panther is getting a movie, so you win some, you lose some, am I right? <laughs> 